So for today's quick tip, we're going to do a text to speech using Google text to speech. Uh, this is in response to a forum post that I saw that I thought was kind of interesting. So, so let's just explore how we can do text to speech. So the first thing we're going to need is a text input to take the text that we're going to uh, convert to speech. Second thing is we need a button. This button is going to run an ex or a custom action. And to get the custom action working, you will need a, a Google API key. So if you go to the maps component, uh, it will explain how to get Google API keys. It's pretty much gonna be the exact same thing, except instead of using uh, geocoding and maps, it's going to be using the text to speech. So once you have your API key set up and you can use text to speech, we can go back and create our custom action. So I've just made this a create type text to speech. This is going to be the URL for converting text to speech. We're going to post. We need to have a header. The header is the xgoog API key and um, this is where you're going to put the API key that you generated from the maps. And then we need to have a body. So the input is going to be the text we're converting. So I've created the text to convert and some example text just so we could play with it. We wrap these in quotations, the voice, so which language, um, this is all part of the documentation in the Google uh, text-to-speech uh, and what the gender is and the audio config. We're going to leave it at MP3. Run a test. Test request has passed. You can see it here. And we can see that the audio response is base64, but it's not a URI encoded base64. And I'll explain what that means later. So we have the audio content. We have the conversion. So now we need to link what text we want to convert, which is going to be from the input. Once that's done, we are going to create a new recording, just so you can see what recordings look like. It's just a, a name and a base64 audio. So let's set the name to the input. So this is the text that we're converting and the audio content, uh, which is the return from our custom action. And we need to URI encode this. What that means is we have to type data colon audio slash MPEG semicolon base 64 comma. Once we do that, we'll actually be able to play this uh, as a URI. So we hit done there. The next thing we need to do is grab our audio player component from the marketplace. We don't need artwork. The URL of the song is going to be, oh, hold on one second. We're going to convert this to a list of recordings so that we can use magic text. This is a list of the recordings we're going to make. Now we can use our magic text, which is the current recording space 64 audio is the URL. And we'll put the title to the name of the recording. And now if we've done this correctly, fingers crossed, we hit preview. I hope this works. All right. So I don't know if you heard that. I'll put the microphone close. I hope this works. Good. It seems like it has worked. I seems like it has worked. Ooh, I made a typo, but it still said it. So that's it. So now we can uh, we can do some text to speech stuff. Uh, we can change the voice from Great British to someone else, from female to male, if you want. Um, so I I hope. You enjoyed this quick tip.